So let's take a look at this fifth case study, this fifth student here. She is uh, an Asian female at an average suburban school, uh, so that tells me a little bit about her context, and um, I can be thinking about her uh, in the context. She's not in a, an urban environment. Um, I imagine this is a public school, so it's gonna be large, likely have a fair number of opportunities. So those are some of the, the context pieces that I'll be thinking about. Let's take a look at her stats. So she's got a 3.98 GPA, uh, unweighted, so maybe she's got, you know, a B plus or an A minus or something in there. So it's very strong. Uh, what I'd really want to know is, is, is how she compares to the other students in her school. Uh, you know, how many APs is she taking? What would her weighted GPA be? Is she in the top 1%, 5%, number one in her class, number 10 in her class? Um, what, how does she compare to her peers? So that's really going to help me understand how competitive she is um, in the context of her school. She has really strong SATs, 800, 800, 730. That looks good to me. SAT 2s, 790 in math, 700 in lit. That's a, a pretty standard strong profile for a student applying to a top school like Stanford or Harvard. Um, so all of that's, that's really great. But I'm noticing she's, she's only taken one AP, and that's a little strange that um, I would really want to know how many APs her school offers. Um, being a suburban school, I would think they offer five or 10, but I don't know. Um, I would have to take a look at the school profile to really get a sense of um, how many APs are offered. I want to make sure she's taking advantage of the opportunities presented to her and her school, and that she's really challenging herself. Of course, um, BC Calc is one of the hardest APs a student can take, and she got a five. So with her um, 800 in math and 790 in math SAT2, she's really um, a very strong academic student. But again, this is, this is sort of the, the worrisome point, and I also really would want to compare her to her peers um, to get a sense of where she is. But from the looks of it, she's relatively competitive. So let's see what she's doing outside of school or on her, um, in her free time. So she's part of the liter literacy or literature society. She's done creative writing, slam poetry. She's got some leadership, vice president. She, um, this is really interesting. She records a spoken word album every year. So this is something where I really might like to see an essay about that. What does she do with these spoken word albums? That's a really creative sort of outlet for um, this creative writing uh, interest that she has. She's also on the forensics um, team uh, where um, two people, she's one of two people who compete consistently, been president, vice president, multiple years. So this shows really nice um, consistency across across the years in a couple of different activities. She's editor-in-chief of the Quill School newspaper, which, um, as I've mentioned before, this is one of the, the highest achievements a student can have in a school. Editor-in-chief of the school newspaper, especially at a large public school, and also being um, student body president. So that's very, very noteworthy and a compelling piece in and of itself. She's also part of two, uh, two to one, an alternative rock band where she plays the keyboard synthesizer. And she's been doing that since eighth grade. So this is also something that's kind of interesting. And I really might like to see something, um, one of her essays be about this uh, because this, there's some interesting pieces coming together here. She's somewhat artistic, you know, doing spoken word, keyboard synthesizer, she's a little funky, so it'd be neat to see how she presents herself on paper. And I'm guessing she's a good writer because she's been very involved in things like, you know, the Lit Society and, and editor-in-chief of her paper. And lastly here, she, um, to sort of continue with the theme of being somewhat of an artistic student, she does origami design. She has a portfolio she's done with 2D illustration. She also is involved with various origami technology and algorithms, um, and has done this project called the Random Act of Origami. So this is really kind of interesting. And when, um, uh, when I read this, this is actually probably the most unique thing about this student. I don't often read about students' interest and passion in origami that 
presents itself from an academic <laughs> standpoint, technology and algorithms, as well as a community service standpoint, and an artistic standpoint. That's a really interesting way to combine um, a set of, of interests that a student has in a way that's really going to stand out. So um, from the extracurricular standpoint, the themes that I'm seeing emerging are this is an artistic student, the origami, the um, rock band, uh, recording her own albums. Those are, that's a really interesting theme that I'm seeing emerge here from the student. And then she's also got this um, humanities writing side, the editor-in-chief of the newspaper, as well as being part of the Lit Society. Um, and she's got some spunk, she's part of a rock band. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so um, this is a, a very compelling um, profile for a student. Um, so I would want to really you know, dig my uh, hands into her essays and really get a sense of how she talks about these things, what um, she sees the value, what her personality is like, and get a sense of what her teachers, how her teachers talk about her um, in, this, in this regard too. Uh, it seems like she really has had an impact in her school and that's something I'm going to be looking for not only as through these leaders, traditional kinds of leadership positions, but I'm guessing this random acts of origami is something that um, is meant to lift the spirits of other students in her school. Um, and that would, you know, I'm, I'm seeing the, the makings of a good roommate here. So the biggest hesitation I have is this. I really find it strange that she's only taken one AP. And it's a great AP and she got a five. Um, that's fantastic. But I, I really would need to know more to see if she's actually competitive. Just from these stats alone, she is competitive. But this is likely not as competitive. However, this is pretty compelling, you know, um, additional side of her that could be enough to push her over the edge. I think what would make the difference is really seeing how she compares to her peers. What does it mean that she's in an average suburban school? Is she in the Midwest where, you know, this is really has a lot of character? Is she in LA where there are a lot of students who are artistic and have, or New York or something like that? So I'd want to really understand how she uh, compares to her peers in, in their context. Um, and that will help me really decide whether or not she's somebody I'd want to advocate for in committee. But overall, really interesting student, so I, I would spend a little bit of extra time with this application, I think.